Now we will discuss for looping structure. For loop is used to repeat statements for a known number of times. General form of for is for keyword followed by initialization statement, control condition and iteration expression inside the braces. Next line may be a single statement or a block of statements. Let us see a simple example that demonstrates the use of for loop. This program prints the result as shown in the output. When the loop starts, initialization statement is executed. This is executed once. It sets the value of control variable i to 0. Then the boolean condition is evaluated by comparing value of i with 5. Since 0 is less than 5, the body of 4 is executed. Then the control transfers to iteration expression. It increments the value of i by 1. Next, the control condition evaluates the condition that is i is less than or equal to 5. If it evaluates to boolean value true, the block of code is executed. This process continues and when the conditional expression returns false, the for loop terminates. Now let us discuss do while repetition control structure. Do while repetition structure becomes useful when you want to execute statements before a condition is checked. In do while repetition structure, the statements given in the do while block are executed at least once, even if the condition is false, because the condition is tested at the end of block of statements. The general form of do while loop is do keyword followed by set of curly braces that contain one or more statements. After this block of curly braces, while keyword and the condition is written. Let us see a simple example that demonstrates the use of do while. In this program, we have declared a boolean variable b and assigned it false value. The do while loop will execute the statement at line 8 and terminates when it evaluates the condition at line 9. Note that condition is false even then the statement at line 8 is executed once. Look at this program. It will print numbers from 1 to 5. Now let us discuss break statement. Break statement can be used to exit from any block of code or terminate any control structure. The general form of break is break followed by semicolon. Let us see a simple example that uses break statement. If we remove the break statement at line 8, this program will repeat for infinite time. The break statement terminates the while loop at line 8 and it is executed only once. Let us see another example. When the value of i is 3 in the for loop, the loop terminates at line 10. The program stops execution since there are no more statements after for loop. Continue statement. It can be used to force an early iteration or repetition of a loop. Continue statement can also be used to skip some statements in particular situations. In while and do while, loops continue statements transfers control to the conditional expression. And in for loop, control is transferred to iteration portion and then to conditional expression. Let us see how continue statement is used in a for loop. This program prints 15 numbers. Each line contains two numbers in the output. Line 8 uses modulus operator. It divides the value of i by 2 and if the remainder is 0, that is the number is even, then it returns true. And the control is transferred to iteration statement that is i++ plus plus at line 5. And the statement on line 10 is skipped. This causes an early iteration of the for loop. Now we will discuss switch selection structure. Switch structures can be used to execute statements based on many values of an expression. General form of switch statement is as shown in this figure. Switch keyword followed by expression in the braces and the block containing many case keywords followed by literal values and an optional default case. Each case block contains single statement or statements 
and a break statement. The value, value 1, value 2, must be compatible with the expression. That is, both the value and argument passed to the condition must have same data type. Each value must be a unique literal constant. Variables are not allowed. The expression must be byte, short, int, or char. Now let us discuss how switch statement works. The value of the expression is compared with each of the literal values in the case statements. If a match is found, the code following the case statement is executed. If none of the constants match the value of expression, then the default statement is executed. Default statement is optional. When break encounters the switch, block terminates execution and branches to the first line after the switch block. The break statement is optional. If you omit the break statement, execution will continue on the next case. Sometimes break statement is placed after many case statements. Now let us see a program that contains a switch statement. Line 5 of this program starts a for loop that repeats the switch statement for four times. This program uses a simple switch statement at line 6. When the statement at line 5 is executed, the initial value of i is received in the switch statement at line 6. This value is compared with the value given after case statement at line 8. Since both values match, the statement at line 9 and 10 are executed. Break statement will terminate the switch block and control moves back to i++ in for loop. Now the value of i is 1 and it is passed to i in switch statement. This value is compared with the value given after case statement at line 8. Since 0 is not equal to 1, so the next case statement is tested. And at line 11, the match is found. The statement and on line 12 and 13 are executed. This process continues until the conditional expression in for loop returns a false value. When the value of i becomes 3, there is no match for literal 3 in any case statement inside the switch block. At this time, default case is executed. There is no need of break statement in the default case. It is important to note that switch, case and break are Java keywords and these must be written in small letters. We can also use nested switch statements. Its general form is as shown in this figure. Now let us briefly look at the differences between if and switch statements. Switch statement can only test for equality, whereas if can evaluate any type of expression that returns a true or false value. Two case constants cannot have identical values. A switch statement is more efficient than nested if statement. Switch can be used for a large number of values, while if can only test true or false boolean values.